Hey everybody, here's a video about how to preserve your vintage comic books correctly. Remember to click subscribe and first I'm going to tell you what are some of the common um, things that go on with aged comics that haven't been stored correctly. Now most of this aging is from comic books that were made before they even had the proper storage things. But anyway, um, vintage comic books usually have yellowing along the pages. The colors in this book are pretty good, but yellowing can come from sun or water damage, but the book would be warped. Another problem that vintage comic book has are folds along the corners. Corners are very rounded. Uh... Um, there are spots where you can see that it's been handled, like when you, uh, incorrectly grab the comic book. There was folding right here, so it obviously got bent or dropped or something. Somebody stepped on it. Spine roll. It's a good example there. Some other things are, like I said, water damage. Um... Comic books, um, sometimes, sometimes, um, have covers that are detached, like this one. Um, another sign is staple rusting, like that my comic book I have here. Um, um, there are, like, page yellowing, and let's see, like, the gloss on this cover is minimal compared to this one, even though this one isn't in great shape, it still has plenty of gloss on the cover. So, to keep your comic books from turning into complete and total destructions like this, first of all, few things. Um, you do not want to put tape on your comic book. The reason you do not want to put tape on your comic book is because it reduces the value of your comic book and like this example of a Spider-Man copy, it leaves tape residue on the cover. Like you can see that, I think that may be rust spreading right there on uh, the uh, staple around the... Um, tape, that looks like rust spreading to me, but it leaves tape residue, it reduces the value of your comics, like that tape, it, you can see the tape residue that it was left behind. And another thing you don't want to do is put saran wrap on your comic book. Now before I tell you how to correctly preserve your comic books, I'm going to tell you how page yellowing, staple rust, and limited gloss all happens and color fading happens the scientific way. After the scientific way, I'll get to what you all want, which is how to preserve your comic books correctly. If you want to, you can fast forward through this part to the next part where I talk about how to safely preserve your vintage comics. But, paper turns yellow, like we see here, because of oxidization. Paper is made from wood, which we already know, which is mainly made of what, white cellulose, which gives paper, oops, sorry about that, which gives paper its white appearance, like we see here. Wood also has a lot of dark substance in it called lignin, which ends up in the paper too. Along with the cellulose, the exposure of lignin to air and sunlight is what turns paper yellow. So, that yellowing is what we see here um, uh, along the edge of the comic book from lignin, cellulose, and sunlight has turned this comic book from white to a more yellow tone. This comic book cover does not have very much gloss in it, 
we can tell that it doesn't have very much gloss because it doesn't reflect um, light very well. As we can see, the light just doesn't reflect off this book. So, I believe the reason for this gloss deduction is because of sunlight, just like paper yellow and sun, same thing goes for covers. Now, this gloss is a very low gloss, but like this book reflects light very well and it's very glossy and not dull like that one because it's like very shiny and nice looking, appealing to the eye. This book is still only about 13 years old, but it's still very glossy. So how is Rust formed like the rest we see on the staple on this issue of Rawhide Kid? So Rust is an iron oxide, a usually red oxide formed by the redox reaction, reaction of iron and oxygen in the presence of water or air moisture. Um... Rust consists of hydrated iron oxides, Fe2O. So, it would make sense that this comic book rusted in moisture because when it was in Florida, uh, it was in a Florida comic shop in the 50 cent bin, not in this protective case, and the shop was not air conditioned, so there was plenty of moisture coming in to give the staples that rust like they have there. Now rust can also spread like we see on this Spider-Man issue where the rust has gone from one area, this staple is really corroded, from one area and spread to other parts of the books, other part of the book, excuse me, and left a mark. So what should you use to uh, put your comics in to protect them? Use this backing board, which is nice and smooth. It's acid-free in this sleeve. You can look them up on Amazon and buy them. There are different sizes. Modern Age, which would be an example of this. Like a Modern Age comic book would not fit on a Silver Age board. Like, I think this is a Silver Age board. An example of a Silver Age comic book would be uh, this Fantastic Four number 25. And it would fit exactly on that board because it is a Silver Age board. I think this is a Silver Age board. I'm not sure. But then a Golden Age board will only fit on a Golden Age board. So be sure what size you have because if you get the wrong size, it may be too tight on your comic book and damage it, or it may be too wide and let your comic book slip around and it would eventually damage the corners. Do not put saran wrap on your comics because of the acids in it. Anything with acids you do not want to put on comics. And like cardboard. That's why we use the acid free boards and sleeves like I have here. So now we're going to um open this and here are some of my vintage more vintage comics. I have plenty of vintage comic books in my comic book bin, but this is another thing you want to do. You want to keep your comic books in a dark place so they do not uh, the colors do not wear off. Like, you can see the color on this is pretty good. I haven't had this in, um, this dark place for very long. But what you want to do... Here's one of my really... One of my favorite comic books that I have. Fantastic for number 25. There we go. I want to be careful with this. But, uh, it, um, is in pretty good shape. But we want to keep it in good shape by keeping it in the dark and not letting it get destroyed. Because sun will make the page color darker and fade the colors on this cover. Also, sorry about that, folks. But uh, what you also want to do 
for comic books that are in extremely good condition, like this copy of Thor, number 154, which is in 9.0 condition. You really want to keep this thing in the dark to keep that condition. Like, it's white on the back. I mean, there's not much better than you can get for this. And this comic book is in such good condition, it increases the value by a lot. But... If we left it out in the light, like up there on that ledge, then the pages would get dark, um, the cov cover would fade, um, and it would just degrade the comic book from like a 9.0 to probably a 7.0. So, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to preserve your comics, and that's it. Bye.